This video is just going to have a, a brief look at iCloud and how you might use it to synchronize and share your documents. So here's the scenario. I've got on the iPad the app Pages. And I have a document here, this one, that I want to update. So I can do what I need to and update the document on the iPad. It's a square. And now I want that to be uploaded to iCloud. So when I get home, I can open up my uh, pages on my computer because I'm working on a Mac. And then I can open that document and carry on editing what I started on my iPad. So you can see while I was talking, it was uploading to iCloud. This is uh, where it's being saved to. So if we go to have a look at pages on my computer, there's the documents and it already has been updated and I could then carry on editing that. Now that's sort of what we want to look at and the, the, the video will, will go through the steps on how you do that. All right, so how does iCloud work with documents? Uh, it can synchronize a document that you might be working on instantly and update any changes, reflect any changes on multiple devices. This is iCloud.com. So I've logged into my iCloud account and I'm going to look at how the app pages on your iPad will um, deal with a document and how it also works on my home computer. Now, if you've got a Mac, you can also have... Uh, the application pages and there's a document that I've uh, created on uh, pages on my Mac. Uh, it doesn't work for Windows. Uh, I, when I save this, I can save this document to either uh, somewhere on my locally on my hard drive or I can save it up to iCloud which is where I've elected to save it. So I've saved it up there and I'll just replace what's there. And if I go into iCloud.com and into iWork, this is where all the, the documents are saved from the Mac applications. Now I can save a document on my iPad and it will be stored up here in uh, iCloud. So Pages is the word processor, Keynote is the presentation software, Numbers is the spreadsheet. There's the document there uh, on my I, uh, iPad. And I think that should be up there somewhere. There's the iPad. And into the app pages. And there's all the same documents. So if I make a change on this document on my iPad, and it's the same document that is now on my Mac at home and it's sitting up in iCloud, if I added another shape to it, And change that color to red. Put in some text. It's now a circle. And as soon as I do documents, that saves. So it's sitting there. If we go back to uh, iCloud on uh, the um, internet, so this is my iCloud account, and there's a circle already, so it's it's synchronized from my iPad straight up to my iCloud account. And it only took a couple of seconds. And if I look at it on here, that's the uh, pages on my Mac, and it's already synchronized on there quite quickly. If I delete it from my iPad, so go back to that. So this is the iPad, and I'm going to delete this file. Remember how to do it, so edits and that file select, it's now deleted. And deleting that document will remove it from all devices connected to iCloud, so essentially it should now be gone from here, it isn't quite yet, and from the Pages app as well. There's the, uh, the computer one already saying it's been deleted, it's now gone from iCloud, and yes, I say I do want to delete it from here. So it's gone from all devices. Uh, to set it up on the iPad, 
mean, Pages is a pretty powerful word processor, and given that you can now synchronize it all and keep everything up to date on, on um, iCloud, it's well worth buying. It, it's not a free app. If you want to use it, though, in your settings, let's just go back to here. In your settings, there is a Pages setting. And you actually have to turn on iCloud. So use iCloud, turn it on. Uh, nothing else I had to change there. But I had to turn that on. And then on, if you've got a Mac, well worth buying Pages. Uh, in here, you've got where you want to save it. I'm going to save it onto my Mac, or do I want to save it onto iCloud. Now, to be, it makes more sense to save some of these on iCloud, where you are using different devices to keep them up to date. The other setting you need to turn on to allow documents to sync in the cloud is in the iCloud settings themselves. So from settings uh, into iCloud, and you need to turn on documents and data. Uh, and that will allow any documents from any app that is going to be able to use iCloud to store those in iCloud. Now, for this demonstration, we've actually used the Pages app to store our data, but there are other apps that also use iCloud.